Friends, on this Friday, I'm Greg Merriweather. So before you yell at your kids this weekend for playing too many video games, know that it could be their ticket to college. Our Perry Robinson has that take for us tonight. So Perry, I guess the colleges are jumping in on this. That's right, Greg, but listen to this. Experts say minorities only make up a small portion of this booming industry and how schools are actually handing out these opportunities. But one of our local schools wanted to fix that and hopefully change lives in the process. Hands on the controller, focused and hitting buttons is where Demetra Hawkins is most comfortable. But doing this to make a living, that's not something she thought was possible. At first I was a little surprised because gaming was not like a big thing at all. That's until she had a small talk with her dad, Christopher Turner, who's an expert on this sort of thing. Esports, short for electronic sports, has taken off and grown into a billion dollar industry in recent years. Thanks in part to the pandemic. Everybody was kind of dormant and it got, you know, that Energizer Bunny pack to it all of a sudden. The sport's rapid growth has led to colleges offering scholarships alongside traditional athletic ones. The Southern University Law Center saw the benefit this could provide to some of our local students. And in a few weeks, they plan to host a summit with some of the biggest companies and top minds in the industry. The goal is to push more minority students into these spaces. We're only 2% of the industry, and so that's, that's tech and gaming. And so we, when you look at that and see that we're big consumers, you know, what can we do to kind of promote our people getting into the industry and, and furthering their careers? Turner says a common misconception is that esports only includes gaming, but there are opportunities in law, graphic design, and even music. He admits it's a tough sell trying to explain this to parents but he understands the doubts and questions. It's, it's a hard conversation to have. You know, it's, it's not like traditional thinking ball sports where you can kind of see the full pipeline and it's right there in your face and everybody knows that full pipeline. I think with this room though, it's gonna elevate that. And so you, you're able to test, feel and see instead of just having a conversation about it. Turner believes this summit will open new doors and continue to grow this evolving business. I can't imagine where, where they're gonna go from here. Now the summit will take place on March the 10th at Southern. We have everything you need to know on how you can sign up waiting for you right now in the 9 News app. Greg, back to you. All right, something to pass along to your kids. Thank you, Perry. Appreciate it. So